single setup phones and external mixer. You can use your K2 to route the output from two separate virtual decks into two channels of an external mixer. This means you can use your K2 to control your chosen DJ software and also use the features of an external mixer. Start by connecting your K2 to your PC or Mac with the USB cable provided. Using a 3.5mm jack to dual RCA phono lead, connect the headphone output from your K2 to one channel of the mixer. Using a dual RCA phono lead, connect the audio out RCA rear connectors from your K2 to another channel of the mixer. In your chosen software application, set one of your deck outputs to sound card outputs 1, 2, and set the other deck output to sound card outputs 3, 4. From the preferences window in Tractor, click on audio setup and select audio device. Choose zone K2 from the list. Now set your output routine. Make sure your mixing mode is on external and set deck A and deck B as shown. From the preferences window in Ableton, select audio and select audio output device. Choose zone K2 from the list. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo are enabled. Choose OK. On channel 1, set the audio 2 section to EXT out. Choose 1, 2. On channel 2, set the audio 2 section to EXT out. Choose 3, 4. From the preferences window in Tractor, click on audio setup and select audio device. Choose zone K2, USB, ASIO driver from the list. Now set your output routing. Make sure your mixing mode is on external and set deck A and deck B as shown. From the preferences window in Ableton, select audio and make sure the driver type is set to ASIO. In the audio device list, choose the zone K2 USB ASIO driver. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo are enabled. Choose OK. On channel 1, set the audio 2 section to EXT out. Choose 1, 2. Channel 2, set the audio 2 section to EXT out. Choose 3, 4. To import the Tractor MIDI map known as a TSI file, in the Preferences window in Tractor, select Controller Manager. Choose Import. Browse to the save location of the TSI file you wish to load. Select and open it. In the Categories to Import window, select OK. Make sure that the MIDI device import and output are set to Zone K2 for both devices in the K2 map. To import the Ableton MIDI map, known as an ALS file, select Open Live Set from the File menu. Browse to the save location of the ALS file you wish to load. Select and open it. You will see the layout change according to the ALS file you have chosen. Now open the Preferences panel. Choose MIDI Sync tab. On the MIDI ports, set the Zone K2 input track on and remote on. Then set the Zone K2 output track on and remote on.